Thank you very much and welcome to TNT. This is indeed a very special edition of TNT. It's countdown to WrestleMania. And sitting next to me, uh, might add a little too close next to me, is Lord <laughs> Alfred Hayes, where we will review a number of matches that are lined up for this coming Sunday afternoon's closed circuit extravaganza. Certainly, we must speak, of course, of the main event involving four of the most outstanding participants ever in a tag team matchup. I don't think we'll ever see the likes of this again. This is a one and only time that we're ever going to see a matchup with somebody like Mr. T, with all that charisma, and Hulk Hogan, with all that expertise, matched against two of the deadliest wrestlers in professional wrestling. We definitely want to see the expertise. Also, of course, uh, opposing them, a very <laughs> worthy tag team combination, to say the least, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, joining forces with Rowdy Roddy Piper, and together they are indeed devastating. We might add there are some seconds in that Superfly Jimmy Snuka in one corner and Cowboy Bob Wharton in another. Right now, let's take you to an incident that happened in Madison Square Garden during a, during a recent award ceremony. I want to say I'm so grateful to receive this award and to be behind the people for multiple sclerosis and to try to thank you for what you've done to me, Cindy Lauper. David Wolf, everybody out there, I want to thank you all for receiving. This is an honor uh -oh, to me. Uh-oh, Ace is around this ringside. Is What's he special. doing out there as well it's as really Roddy Piper? It's really beautiful, Cindy. Maybe they have some oh, kind no, of presentation minute, Ronnie, to make. Just a, Ronnie, yeah, Roddy, this, Cindy, is something special. One second, please, please. Yeah. I know even though, even though it was me that set this up, and it was me that started it, I want to present you with this. Piper's just gone bananas. David Wolf trying to come to the rescue, but he's no match. Oh, he pile drives it right down into the canvas. Roddy Piper's gone crazy here. Sidney Lauper went down. David Wolf got power slammed. Look out the Hucksters hitting the ring. Sidney Lauper is down. David Wolf is down. Piper just went bananas. Who knows what might have happened here? Well, we know what happened, uh, but we certainly would like to take you now to a special Piper's Pit and watch this as it happened. And the Piper's Pit uh, took place on the set of the A-Team. And of course, Mr. Piper's guest at that time, Mr. T. Mr. T, certainly a friend of Cindy Lauper for a long, long time and had sent word that he did not like the incident, the ugly incident that took place in Madison Square Garden. So let's take you now to Rowdy Roddy Piper in Piper's Pit on the set of the A-Team, and his guest will be Mr. T. Well, here I am on the A-Team, I suppose one of the most successful shows ever possibly in the history of shows, and of course I'm creeping up on the back of uh, Mr. T. I can tell you that because it's got it written right here on the back of your chair. Mr. T, hello, I know you can hear me, and I don't mean to bother you. My name's Hot Rod, of course you'll know who I am, and I know who you are because your name's written on the back of the chair, and I'm assuming that that's there so you don't get lost. They told me to come down here and talk to you because what you got here is this great successful show then you guys are portraying these bad guys and they wanted to know since I am a bad guy actual in real life and I do beat people folks up for a living what they wanted to know they kind of wanted to know how does it feel to be portraying someone like myself well you ain't nothing man Oh, oh, why do you all? Because I don't have a chair with my name on it? Excuse me, I don't need one, because I can take any chair I want to take. I ain't nothing. What are you talking about? Hey, man, I seen what you've been doing on TV, man. Oh, you've been that? fighting them little wimps. What Wim I do is Wim for real. Wimps, what? That's right, wimps. Oh, what are you talking about, wimps? I'll let this take a look at you. Wimps, let me see wimps. The only wimp I can think of is uh, uh, Cindy Lauper's manager, Dave Wolf. Uh, he's a wimp. Yeah, yeah, speaking about Cindy Lauper, she happened to be my friend. We go out together sometimes with dinner. I like her singing, oh, and I heard about what you did to her in Madison Square Garden. Oh. I don't like that at all. Oh, you don't like That's that? That's why you call you yourself tough, because you, you, can, you can punch on a lady? Wait, 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 wait. I am an equal opportunist. Let's put it this way. Let's take a look at you. Here you are. You shave your head on both sides. She hey, dyes her orange. You, no, what you're why doing why is you're supporting all these wonderful children. Yes, now, how can they look up to you with you looking like that, her with long hair? The children of America today must be sick. To look at someone. Hey, 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 no, 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 hey. I'll tell you, you mess with me, T, I'll put an X on your name, brother. 
Not a smart idea for Mr. T or anybody else to mess with Rowdy Roddy Piper, but uh, certainly Hulk Hogan would step to the squared circle to mess with Rowdy Roddy Piper, and they had a match, I'm sure, that many of you remember from Madison Square Garden in attendance. Uh, that night, by the way, is, or was, the one and only Mr. T, and it was some match indeed. We'll take you back now and show you some highlights of that matchup as Piper versus Hogan one-on-one -on -one. Rock and roll uh, against the anti-forces. Let's take you now to the videotape. choking him right out here. Referee is uh, just concerned with checking the arm of the champion. You know, Piper is bad mouth. Uh oh, oh look, look at this. Oh, he's coming back. Look at Ace. That's outside interference. Wait a minute. Right there. Martin is getting in the act. There comes that sling. That look at the Hulk. He's locking him up. Oh, oh he dropped his arm on the oh. ball. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you, I'm literally exhausted. I've never seen so much action so quick. Wow, he went for another atomic drop and he got caught with a four referee got wiped out by Hulk Hogan as he went down. The referee is totally out of it. He's down and out. I think the referee is unconscious. He's not wait, moving the muscle. Wait, Look wait, now. Wait. Orndorf. Oh, come on. Come on. Orndorf going up to the top. from Howard Frankel. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout as a result of a disqualification, Hulk Hogan! Mr. T entering the rustling ring, and boy, did he ever stir things up, Alfred. <laughs> yes, he did. You know, watching this, we just saw the highlights, but I saw the entire fight, and several factors emerged very clearly to me. One, Piper was desperately hoping to finish off Hulk Hogan. He had many game plans, but the one game plan he didn't have, obviously he had those plans, you saw Orndorff, you saw Orton there, but the one thing he didn't count for, and that was Mr. T. Mr. T was uh, there at ringside to enter the ring, and we'll be back with uh, a continuing story of Mr. T and Hulk Hogan when we return. Before we take you to the confusing Piper's Pit re held recently in Madison Square Garden, we want to clear up a little bit of confusion as to where you can see WrestleMania this coming Sunday afternoon. Many of you apparently feel that it's going to be shown on home TV. That is not the case, with the exception of a few cable systems that will carry it on a pay-per-view basis. You could very well be old and gray. Speaking of old and gray, <laughs> uh, before you ever see this on home TV, but we do invite you to see it at your local Coliseum, or a theater which will carry it on a closed circuit television basis on the giant color screen. It's going to be most entertaining and 
There will not be any confusion there, I assure you, as there was in Madison Square Garden. Mr. T, about to enter Piper's pit, he had no idea what to expect. No, he didn't. But not only that, neither did Piper, because Piper has stirred up something that I'm sure now he definitely regrets. One, he thought he was only going to stir up Hulk. He had game plans for him, but Mr. T came into this. And since that which uh, I read in a magazine recently was called Piper's Night of Infamy, now he has erupted a whole scene. We have Superfly Snooker, don't forget. And he will be in the corner of Mr. T and Hulk Hogan when they oppose the other side. All right, let's take you now to the Piper's Pit, held recently in Madison Square Garden, walking down the aisle no less than Mr. Piper himself, who was really ready for this. Now, he had plans, I mean big plans. Look at the smile on his face. You talk about arrogance. Look at Rowdy Roddy Piper. And behind Mr. Piper, of course, Ace, the bodyguard, with the cast on the arm. But now we are just about ready for Rowdy Roddy Piper to start Piper's pit. Today's St. Patrick's Day, I think we should remember that. Before I bring Mr. T out, I'd like to bring a few things to your mind, St. Patrick's Day. I know there's a lot of Irishmen out there. And I know if you don't know what St. Patrick's Day is about, it's where they chased all the snakes out of Ireland. And I understand it now because coming to New York, I understand where all those snakes came. They're so proud of this. This is my bodyguard, Ace. <laughs> I love my bodyguard. <laughs> Don't you wish you had a bodyguard, huh? <laughs> oh, no, you should be proud of where you live. <laughs> you should be proud. You know what? They got a team called the, what's the, what's the name of the team? The uh, Yankees? The Yankees? New York Yankees? <laughs> Out of 13 million people, you got the New York Yankees. You figure you could find nine people that could play baseball, huh? <laughs> but no, not a chance. Not a chance. I said, they said to me, they said, Roddy Piper, this is going to be on national television, and this is going to be the last time you're going to get to talk to anybody before the closed circuit fight that is coming up March 31st with this short little guy with the thing here that we're going to talk to. I said, sir. thought to myself, <laughs> I thought to myself, what is he doing fighting me? <laughs> I thought to myself, well, maybe the guy, maybe the guy is all right. Maybe Roddy Piper, you should give him an introduction due to this fellow, Mr. T. <laughs> maybe all these folks here are waiting for Mr. T. They paid, so I would like to bring out right now Truly, what I think is one of the finest athletes I have ever seen. A fine gentleman, a fellow that obviously has a lot of guts, a fella that you've all admired, I suppose, because you're all here, a fella that's on all television. Bring out right now the so-called star. Bring out Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, my favorite. Bring him on out here.
Without further ado. Huh? Face, where's the, where's the toilet bar? The toilet face is the outhouse. Maybe he'll come out strolling out in his outhouse today. I don't think, you see, we have a problem, and the problem was Mr. T didn't want to come out here because he was afraid and he wanted a bunch of bodyguards. And I said, we ain't having no police in here or no bodyguards. So I don't exactly know what you're doing, but if you got any guts, are you ready? Are you finished pottering your nose with that dark potter? Come on out, Mr. T, the wonderful human being. Superstar, please let me first of all let me clean off this seat for you <laughs> and have you please. It's a pleasure. Oh, whoa! It's a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Please let me clean off this this seat and, and I have a seat here for your for your many fans that you have. I have a seat. I I, I cleaned it off. I know you're not used to cleanliness, but I cleaned it for you. Mine's a little. Just joking. Yeah. What's second thought? I don't want to sit down. I don't trust you. Okay. 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 Let me just explain something to you. First of all. I looked into your background. I didn't know a whole lot. First of all, could we do something? If I tell my men to stand there, will you tell yours to stand there? That way it's going to save a lot of injury, man. All right, that's fair enough. Get your men back first. Would you go? If they do anything, so. Just you and me. First of all, they ain't standing back, man. You guys ain't standing back. You heard what I said. If you okay, let me. I want to say something nice to you, and you ain't listening to me. Okay, the point is this. The point is this. Wait a second. I have looked into your background. I didn't know nothing about you, and I find out that you are the amateur champion of the state of Illinois. I find out that you win the toughest man contest. I found out that you are the biggest star in television today. I said to myself, all the money that you have and all the following that you have, I'm going to do you a favor. This is your chance to back out of the closed circuit fight without getting hurt. say that there will be no shame put upon you for backing out. All these people that love you won't think any less of you because after all, you're going against men.
I don't back out of nothing, that's why I'm here. Ever since the thing that happened in February the 18th, I've been in training. I am ready, I'm not worried about the cheap shots, that's why I got my buddies with me. So if you can do what you want to do, it's up to you to back out, if you want to back out, you know. You know, this is your chance to back out. This is your chance to back out. You may act crazy, but you really ain't crazy. You just act like you're crazy. I know you take cheap shots. You took a cheap shot of me when I came in the ring last time. But you ain't gonna try that when I'm watching you. Okay, wait, 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 cheap shot. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, let me. People don't know it, but other than being a fantastic wrestler, I'm a great artist. And I wanna show you, whoa, whoa. Does he, can you talk his language, whoa. Say whoa to him. I want to show you something because one picture is worth a thousand words and you have this tremendous series called the A-Team. You could, you could wind up looking like this. I painted this myself with your arm in a cast. You could wind up, take, I'm very serious. I'm not, show these people here. I am not fooling around at all. What I'm saying is you could ruin, wait a second. Show me that other picture. I painted a couple for you because I think. Is that supposed to scare me? Show me some pictures? I will admit. Mr. Piper, I'll give you that credit. You are a good artist. But drawing pictures of me, that do not move me. Wait a second. I don't know what moves you. Uh, x lax that may move you, man. How about this here, huh? Uh, how about this with the leg? Do you understand what I'm saying? Forget the leg one. Show me, show, give me that last one there. I want you to see what can happen to you if on the 31st, on close secret, in all these theaters around the country, brother, this is exactly what you could end up looking like here, and there would be no more A-team, no more nothing. I've given you one more chance. Give it up and get out. Well, I'm going to tell you personally, Piper, on dog, on I am getting a little bit turned of all this here. I should be a trainer right now. Return. You know, I, I come out here, I ain't don't have time to be joking, you know. Perturbed! Perturbed! You want to see perturbed? Hang on, man. You want to see silly? You want to see ridiculous, man? <laughs> hey, you want to see silly? Look how silly! Yes, indeed, you can see what happened in Piper's pit, and Mr. T was ready on that occasion. He wanted to get it on right then, but uh, indeed, they shall wait for the 31st. Piper said he wanted to save him. Yes, I can't see why. You know, all the time, I kept saying, Piper tried to get out by guile and cunning, and he is a cunning person, but I don't think he can do it. He definitely cannot do it. Mr. Hulk, Mr. T and Hulk, they have the answer. Snooker is there. They do have Orton in their corner, Orton off as well. I don't see how I can do it. We'll be back as we continue with more TNT. Stay with us. In addition, of course, to the principals in the main event with uh, Hulk Hogan and Mr. T joining forces with Superfly Snook in their corner, the opposing team, Roddy Piper, along with Paul Orndorff and Cowboy Bob Orton, ace, if you would, in their corner, there are some other principals involved in the main event. Liberace is the guest timekeeper, Muhammad Ali is the guest referee, and now we take you to some very special footage with me and Gene Okerlund and the ring announcer, Billy Martin. Billy Martin around here, the baseball great? I Buddy believe chance? so. Bill, is Billy Martin, which one is Billy Martin? Well, it's not either one of these two. Ah. Gino is high, and uh, sure nice to see you. I guess you're down here for a reason, aren't you? I am for a fact. What kind of a guy is Billy Martin, just out of curiosity? Easy going, gentle, and almost good looking. Billy Martin, good to see you again. Gino, nice to see you. The World Wrestling Federation, you're going to be a part of that big extravaganza called WrestleMania. Any chance I can impose upon you, we can step outside and talk just briefly about it? We're just going to talk. We're not going to fight. Not going to fight at all. You got a deal. Let's go. Let's do it. Very good. I thank you. Boy, that's great. It is a privilege to be on assignment with Billy Martin, the guest announcer for WrestleMania, Madison Square Garden, coast to coast, 24 foreign countries. 
And Billy Martin, of course, uh, long time playing days with the New York Yankees, manager of the Oakland A's, the Minnesota Twins, the New York Yankees, and baseball spring training. It's in progress right now. Before we talk about WrestleMania, what's new in the baseball world, Billy Martin? Well, Gene, I think uh, the season's going to be exciting. I think the Yankees are going to be outstanding this year. They've made some good trades this winter, and I think the American East is probably going to be the toughest division in all of baseball. Well, that, that's good to hear. And certainly uh, from baseball, I, I think we can, uh, if we may transcend to a subject that is, uh, seems to be a very hot topic these days, the World Wrestling Federation and WrestleMania. It's coming up. It's going to be Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, meeting Rowdy Roddy Piper, and a former marshmallow salesman by the name of Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. <laughs> but where else in the Big Apple? I mean, uh, only the Big Apple can support people like that. You know, I think it's uh, outstanding those people that are that crazy about uh, wrestling. I wish I was more knowledgeable about it, and I, I'm sure I will be after the, after the match. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you will be, and of course, uh, Billy, there's there's no question of it out. You've got uh, a reputation as being a, a real scrapper, whether it happened to be on the on the ball, the ball diamond, the ballpark, the uh, whatever, uh, certainly you're going to see a little bit of that in the squared circle in the ring as part of WrestleMania. These uh, gentlemen are a little bigger, I believe, than your average baseball player. Well, they are. They're a lot of lot fatter, let's put it that way. You know, they've oh. got big stomachs and uh, they're big shouldered. They're good looking guys and they're great movie actors. I've seen them in uh, some movies, but, uh, you know, uh, you don't get afraid of guys like that. It's a little guy that scares you. What, what was the what was the old saying? It's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. Who said that? Was that Calvin Griffith? No, I think it was Alexis somebody. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I who forget was. what. Really not that important. Nonetheless, you take a look at these two big men, the issues that uh, that of course are between Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, and Rowdy Roddy Piper and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. By the way, in the respective corners of the Hulk and Mr. T, Jimmy Superfly Snooker, Cowboy Bob Orton. Have you seen this gentleman, this Rowdy Roddy Piper from Glasgow, Scotland, with the with the kilt? I hear he's good. He, he, is, he good. is good. I'll tell you what. One thing he is good good at, and that is talking. He's got quite a mouth on him. Well, you know, that uh, Howard Cassell and him probably can get along well. I wonder, if, could, I, could I write that down on paper and then burn it, perhaps? No. No, no, wait a minute. I like <laughs> Howard Cassell. I have to be a friend of mine. But, you know, anybody that talks, uh, they're just voicing their own opinion. Uh, you're doing the same thing, you know, when you're doing this interview with me right sure. now. So, and I'm doing the same thing when I talk to other people. I, I like to see people they express themselves. And if this is the way that man expresses himself, then God bless him. More class to him. Well, I'll tell you what, Billy Martin, you and I go back a number of, a number of years, and it is certainly really, I, I say this very honestly, a privilege for us in the World Wrestling Federation to have you in attendance in this particular capacity as the guest announcer to uh, be introducing this particular main event. Well, I'm excited about it. I was teasing a little while ago about these great big guys, but, you know, they're out there making a living, and that's what it's all about, and I wish them all luck in the world. I hope nobody gets hurt, and I hope the people really enjoy themselves. What they're calling it right now is the hottest ticket in town. It's WrestleMania, March the 31st, 1 p.m., big main event, Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, squaring off against Rowdy Roddy Piper and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, and we will be there. Yes, it'll be most interesting to see Billy Martin <laughs> stepping into the ring as a guest announcer, ring announcer for the very first time, surrounded by all that monstrous beef. <laughs> Billy Martin. You know, obviously he doesn't know too much about wrestling. He knows a lot about baseball, but he does have something in common, and that is he's a fighter. Yes, indeed. Mr. Martin could very well be in for uh, quite an education <laughs> yes. this coming Sunday afternoon. We'll be back with more <laughs> TNT as we continue. Stay with us. As we stated earlier, there are going to be a, a lot of guests at ringside and some guests involved in the main event that's coming Sunday afternoon. Billy Martin, whom we heard from earlier on, is the guest ring announcer. Muhammad Ali, the guest uh, um, referee in the event. And, of course, Liberace, the guest timekeeper. It'll be most interesting to see how Mr. Liberace makes his entrance. I'm sure candelabra and all this coming Sunday afternoon. Let's take you to an interview with Mean Gene and Liberace. This Sunday afternoon, 1 p.m., March the 31st, coast to coast, 24 foreign countries from Madison Square Garden, WrestleMania, and Liberace, the official timekeeper. And this is not your first exposure to professional wrestling, is it? No, that's right. You know, I come from uh, uh, a long line of wrestling fans, of which number one was my mother. You must tell our television audience about the 
the, the, the fact that your mother was such an avid wrestling fan that she actually scratched away part of the chair. Well, she had a favorite chair that she liked to sit in when she watched TV, but particularly wrestling. And the fabric upholstery on that chair was all threadbare from her excitement over watching wrestling. She knew every wrestler all the way back to Gorgeous George. Well, And now there's so many fabulous ones. You even got one that's wearing, looks like some of my costumes. Oh, well, that's talking about Paul Orndorff, Mr. That's, Wonderful. That's Mr. Wonderful, yes. Well, I, I, I must say this. Your mother, uh, watching television back in the, the, I believe, the late 40s, early 50s, and of course, professional wrestling, as you know, Lee, has now come so very far that it's finally come to the ultimate in WrestleMania. That's right, and I'm so happy to be invited to be a part of it with uh, all these wonderful, talented people and Mr. T and Cindy Lauper, and I'm really looking forward to it. Well, I'll tell you, it is going to be truly something else. We have Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, Jimmy Superfly Snooka in their corner, going against Rowdy Roddy Piper, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, with Cowboy Bob Orton in their corner, and you're going to be the official timekeeper for all of this. Isn't that is a there, great Is there honor? any particular timepiece that that they're giving you to keep the official time? Well, I have here... Can get a shot of this? I have here a perfect timekeeper. It's a piano-shaped watch, and... You, oh, I love it. How about that? <laughs> this is terrific. WrestleMania kicking it all off this Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. I'm just delighted to have you part of the World Wrestling Federation. My and pleasure. Lee Liberace, we are certainly looking forward to you uh, Sunday afternoon in Madison Square Garden. Wait till Garden. you see what I'm going to wear. Mr. Wonderful, I certainly hope you're listening. <laughs> Paul Orndorff, this man dresses like none other. You could probably take a tip or two. Rowdy Roddy Piper, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, going against Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. This man, and thank you for your graciousness uh, being able to join you here in this beautiful apartment. Liberace, all part of WrestleMania, Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Don't miss it. Yes, it'll be most interesting when Liberace makes his grand entrance into Madison Square Garden this coming Sunday afternoon. I'm sure he can keep time. I'm sure he can. You know, the only other person I've seen with a better gown than Liberace is, is Mr. Wonderful himself, Paul Orndorff. I think he's got him outmatched on gowns. You really think so? I do indeed. They may be comparing gowns and who knows what else in Madison Square Garden this coming Sunday afternoon. We'll be back with more TNT with lots more commentary. We will be rolling underneath our commentary a number of locations coast to coast in which you can see WrestleMania this coming Sunday afternoon. We'd like to hasten to add that you can only see them at these locations. You will not be able to see WrestleMania on your home television set. Uh, with a few of those uh, of you who have the capability of pay-per-view on your local cable system, but only a very few of you. If you're waiting to see it on home TV, you could be old and gray before that ever happens. In any event, Alfred, let's talk about some of the outstanding athletes on this coming Sunday afternoon's WrestleMania. Bruno Sammartino, wrestling's living legend, returns to Madison Square Garden, managing his son David, who's an individual competition. Yes, and what a scene that has been for him in the past. Let us also look at somebody else who is absolutely unique in the world of wrestling, Andre the Giant, and what he faces. He faces the biggest and most formidable test in his whole career. Big John Studd in a $15,000 slam match. Andre, by the way, has stated, in fact, if he does not slam Big John Studd, Andre the Giant will retire from professional wrestling. If he does slam him, he's going to collect 15000 hard-earned <laughs> dollars from Big John Studd. The Intercontinental title matchup, the championship up for grabs, Greg Valentine meeting the junkyard dog in what is going to be, I'm sure, a tremendous matchup there. Also, by the way, on hand will be Tito Santana, King Kong Bundy, both of whom see individual competition, and then a special tag team match. As we will see the tag team champions, Wyndham and Rotundo, facing the formidable combination of Nikolai Volkov and the Iron Sheik. Yes, I've been very surprised by Win uh, Wyndham and Rotondo because all the opposition they've come against, they've seemed to roll over them fairly easily. But with these other, with the Russian and with the Iranian, they're going to have a lot of trouble. But let us look at another match. How about Wendy Richter? Mm -hmm. In her quest to regain the championship, meeting Leilani Kai, who really upset professional wrestling recently in her defeat of Wendy Richter and Cindy Lauper is going to be right there at ringside 
hoping to root uh, Wendy Richter on to a victory in Madison Square Garden. All of this in addition, of course, to the main event, which you mentioned earlier on the special tag team match. Right now, we'll be back with more TNT. Stay with us with a word from Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. Take you to New York City and awaiting us there, Hulk Hogan and Mr. T in their final preparations, their final training for the matchup this coming Sunday afternoon, and they really train well together. Yes, and you have to ask yourself now, are they mentally fit? I think they are. Are they physically fit? Definitely they are. The other side is. There's no doubt about that. Let's take you now to the last minute training session of Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. You know, Mr. T, this is New York City, just like I told your brother, Hulk Country. You're kind of people, Daddy, just like the south side of Chicago. The biggest buildings, the wildest people. Check it out, the Empire State Building. And back there, check those two buildings out, man. The World Trade Center. Dig it, man. Just like us, man. It's tough and big and strong. I know that, man, but I want to see the other part of New York, man. I want to show you Central Park, man. What do you mean? What do you, we go to Central Park, man, and take up the muggers. If we take, clean up the muggers in Central Park, we ready for a pipe on Orndorff. Every, every mugger we see in Central Park, we run along, we jump on them, beat them up, make it deep. For decent people around here. That's what we want to do. You know, T, this is a different kind of training. That's street fighting you've been telling That's me about. That's what I'm right? going to tell you about it, right, yeah. You've been teaching me, me wrestling. I want to show you how to street fight. Show me the way, All right, man. we got to do Take it, man. Let's All right, let's go, man. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on, man. Come on. training with you. I never knew what it was like, brother. I never knew how heavy you could get in the combat zone. But when you taught me about kicking, punching, and especially that guerrilla warfare, That's I right, think man. we're ready, dude. Okay, hold no, no holes barred, man. Uh, no wrestling holes, holes, man. No wrestling holes. holes. You got me strong, man, for lifting that iron, man, and I'm ready. I'm gonna use everything you taught me, man, you know. And I want you to use everything I've been telling you. Play dirty, elbows, knees. I ain't with there, anything, man, because they want to get dirty. I ain't forgot, man. We've been training for 
six weeks, man. And we ready now, man. All these people, they want, they want, they want to see us get down, man. They want it. You know, it's just like the shot town where you're from, brother. New York City. These are survivors. We're survivors. And the thing is, T, that guerrilla warfare, we gotta remember, man. That's right, man. We're saying home. Die the tiger. That's your main Die soul. The Die the tiger. You taught me, brother. That's right, man. You taught me to That's stay right. hungry. Nothing, stay man. Hungry. You know, I remember what they did to me, man. Jumped on me in the back and whatnot. I mean, when they, when they slapped Sydney and whatnot, I ain't forgot that, man. You know, but it goes farther than that. I'll never forget the sight I saw down on my back. Mr. T up there directing traffic. They were running like cowards, brother. That's right, man, because you're no. my buddy. I don't believe nobody can stop us, man. You know, now. That's right. We're going to do it, man. We're going to do, do it, do man. It. We're going to do it. man. The place going to be packed up. That's in 24 hours, man. Everybody going to be hollering. Women, children, everybody. All your fans all across the world. In theaters and whatnot. And we can't disappoint them. One thing. They, they want to see it. I'm going to look into your eyes. You look into mine. That's right, You'll man. Stay hungry. We're going to be ready. Right. We're going to be ready. They'll be ready, but equally ready for sure will be Rowdy Roddy Piper and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. They are a force to reckon with, and many predict that it's going to be a victory for Rowdy Roddy Piper and his tag team partner, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. We'll be back with further commentary on that main event and more about WrestleMania when we return with more TNT. Stay with us. Our next TNT will be held a week from this coming Friday night at its regularly scheduled time. And on that occasion, Lord Alfred Hayes is going to announce... We're going to have the drawing of the great wrestling trivia contest. And there will be a winner, and you know all the prizes they're going to get. I don't believe I recall some of those prizes, Lord well, Alfred. Well, a trip to New York for four people. They're going to be put up in a super hotel for three days and two nights. They're going to get $500 in cash just for spending. They're going to be lucky enough to be a guest on TNT. Mm. They're also going to go to Madison Square Gardens for a wrestling event. And 100 runners-up are going to get TNT T-shirts. And all of you losers get a free <laughs> picture of Lord Alfred Hayes. <laughs> I knew you would say something like that. You couldn't restrain yourself. <laughs> we invite you to join us next week. One week from this coming Friday night for more TNT. And we certainly invite you to join us all this coming Sunday afternoon when WrestleMania will be presented coast to coast. Again, we remind you that WrestleMania will not be seen on your home television. Only a few of you who have the selected pay-per-view system will be able to see the event. Of course, we do invite you to join us at your local theater or Coliseum when WrestleMania will be presented in its entirety and without a doubt, just the most extraordinary closed circuit sports entertainment spectacular of all time. We invite you to take part with us this coming Sunday afternoon. This is Vince McMahon along with Lord Alfred Hayes saying so long till we see you on our next TNT.